Hello everyone. In this class, we're going to talk about navigation using Android Jetpack. We will consider the following navigation components. Title fragment. This is initial uh, fragment to start application, as you see right now. Then you have another three uh, fragments uh, connected. So you can see here the path from title fragment to game fragment. Uh, game fragment, actually, this is the next fragment that display the question. And then, uh, depending on the answer, you have conditional navigation to uh, fragment try again or to fragment congratulations. So let's try right now to answer incorrectly to this question. What is the base class for layouts? Let's make uh, wrong answer. And you'll be redirected to the fragment uh, try again with the name game over fragment. Um, so you'll try uh, answer correctly the next questions. Uh, for example, uh, the following two questions you'll try to answer correctly. And number three. So when all three questions answered correctly, we will be redirected to congratulation fragments with a game one fragment. And finally, we have to uh, check uh, navigation from the buttons. So we can uh, talk about uh, how to deal with this in application. Uh, so let's talk about a little bit about uh, navigation in general. Uh, uh, navigation from Jetpack. Uh, so before uh, talk about navigation, I would talk about I will uh, talk a little bit about Jetpack. Uh, Jetpack is a suite of libraries, tools, and guidance to help developers write high-quality application easier. These components help you follow best practices, free you from writing uh, boilerplate code, and simplify complex tasks so you can focus on the code you care about. Jetpack comprises the Android X uh, Star package libraries unbundled from the platform API. A navigation refers to the interaction that allow users to navigate across, into, and back out from the different pieces of content within the application. Android Jetpack's navigation component helps you implement navigation from simple button clicks to more complex patterns such as application bars and the navigation drawer. Navigation components consist of three key parts that are described below a navigation graph, XML resource that contains all navigation-related information in one location. This includes all the individual content areas within your application called destinations, as well as the possible path that a user can take through your application. Navhost, an empty container that displays destination from your navigation graph. The navigation components contains the default Navhost implementation, Navhost fragment, that displays fragment destinations. And finally, Nav Controller, it's an object that manages application navigation within Nav Host. Uh, the Nav Controller orchestrates the swapping of destination content in the Nav Host as users move through your application. As you, as you navigate through the app, you tell the app Nav Controller that you want to navigate either along a specific path in navigation graph or directly to a specific destination. The nav controller then shows the appropriate destination in the nav host. So basically, you see uh, this uh, example that shows a visual representation of navigation graph uh, for a sample application containing six destinations connected by five actions. So navigation graph is a resource uh, that contains all of your destinations and actions. And with destinations are the different contents areas of application, such as one, two, three, four, five, six, right? This visible destination. Uh, basically, actions, uh, there's a logical connection between your destination that represents paths that user can take. For example, from the fragment main, we can travel to a fragment view, fragment choose, fragment uh, view balance. Uh, and from the middle fragment, fragment choose, we can uh, travel to fragment specify amount, fragment configuration. 
So that's all possible actions we can achieve using this navigation graph. Um, if you open navigation uh, graph in editor, um, Android Studio provides such opportunity. In navigation editor, you can visually edit navigation graphs uh, or directly edit the underlying XML. So probably it's a good idea to use uh, just simple uh, drag and drop techniques to add uh, new activities or uh, fragments using uh, upper panel and set attributes uh, of the connection uh, specified between uh, fragments and activities. So on the left side, you see destination panel uh, that has a list of navigation host and all destinations currently available in the graph editor, uh, such as, for example, like uh, two, two fragments in another navigation graph, nested graph. Uh, second area is graph editor, uh, contains a visual representation of your navigation graph. Uh, you can switch between uh, design view and code view to see XML. And attributes, uh, shows attributes for the uh, currently selected items in the navigation graph. So we'll do all this stuff today in practice. For this purpose, we will consider online tutorial, define navigation path. So this navigation path uh, tutorial, uh, as I show in the as I show it in the previous demo, uh, will consist of Android trivia game uh, questions. The user should answer three questions, and depending on the result of the answers, uh, we will uh, show appropriate fragment, uh, try again, or congratulations fragment. Uh, for step one, you have to run project starter. Uh, to start updates from the next steps, uh, we have around, um, I guess, seven or eight steps in this tutorial. You have to make sure the project is runnable and produce the following UI with uh, no functionality as shown below. Uh, so Android Trivia application asks the user trivia questions about Android development. It makes use of the navigation component within Jetpack to move the user between screens. Each screen is implemented as a fragment, and the application navigates using buttons, uh, the application bar and navigation drawer. Uh, so please note, application bar and the navigation drawer we consider next week. So today we consider only basic navigation uh, using buttons. All right, so for uh, start, you have to download Android, Android Trivia Fragment to start zip, open application, and start. Um, so please note uh, that uh, you must to complete all the steps from one to eight uh, to complete this application. Uh, I'll just, I'm not going to read all the steps right now uh, because I will supply you with a document uh, step by step. I'll just only uh, make some kind of uh, general comments about their content. So step one is uh, navigation, uh, setting dependencies for the artifacts you need in uh, build or gradle files. Uh, step two, add a navigation graph to the project. Uh, just create new Android resource file navigation XML. Step three is create a nav host fragment uh, that acts as a host for the fragments in navigation graph. Uh, step 4, add a nav host fragment to the navigation graph. Uh, we will add uh, two fragments to the navigation graph and connect them with an, the action. So after this, uh, we will test application. Uh, so please note that every step should be tested by running program appropriately. And uh, this is only the way to uh, understand that a project works as uh, required. So note you, may, note, you must build and run the project after each uh, step as required in this tutorial. So if you have any errors, uh, just go back and check uh, what you did wrong. Apparently, uh, it was any other problem, syntax or semantics. Step six is conditional navigation. So conditional navigation, uh, that's a little bit harder. In this case, you have to make condition uh, where you where your programming logic will go from game fragment to uh, try again fragment or to congratulations fragment. 
The next will be uh, step seven, change the back button's destination. Apparently, you know a little bit about back button already. This back button is typically the left most button at the bottom of the screen as shown below and you will attach also uh, proper actions uh, from program flow to this button so it's a little bit explanation here how to adjust that and once you have uh, done step seven uh, you move to the last step eight add more navigation actions and add on click handlers and the last button will be uh, Try again and next match. So please note you have to run project and test the last result before proceed to the individual part. Uh, your turn individual work will consist the following. Uh, you will add a rules button and about button to the layout for the title fragment as shown here. When the user taps uh, the rules or about button, the application navigates to the uh, rules fragment or about fragment as about fragment fragment as appropriate. So this was a brief demo of the required presentation and, and brief observation about navigation. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks a lot.